sound system channels. You see them all the time, 2.1, 5.1, 7.2. What do all these mean? Hi, my name's Jonah with the Home Theater DIY. Today we're gonna go over what all the sound system channels mean. So like I said, you see 2.1, 3.1, 5.1. What do all these mean exactly? Well, let's dive into it. Let's break it down number by number as to what these actually mean. So the very first number, this is the number of main channels in a system. So that would be the front left, front right, center, rear right, rear left, all those are included in the very first number. The second number, that is the number of subwoofers. So if you have one, it's 0.1. If you have two, it's 0.2. And the third number, that's the number of upward firing or height speakers. And that means that the sound's coming from above you, or if they're upward firing, they're bouncing the sound off the ceiling into the top of your ear. So it sounds like the audio is coming from above you. So if you have like a big helicopter flying over, it's not gonna sound like it's coming from directly in front of you. It's actually gonna sound like it's above you, which is a really cool feeling in a surround system environment. All right, so let's look at all the different channel configurations that you'll see when you're looking at different systems. So starting out, 2.0, that's a stereo system. You have a left speaker and a right speaker. Now 2.1, that is a left speaker, right speaker, and a single subwoofer. Now with a subwoofer, that can be placed in many different uh, areas of a room. It could be in the very front, could be right behind the couch you're sitting on. Um, it really depends on the room shape and size as to where you place the subwoofer, but uh, it's really personal preference too. So check out a few different positions, see where you like it most. All right, and a 3.1 channel system. This adds in a center channel speaker, and that essentially improves the dialogue tremendously. Now two channel, you just have left and right. Three channel, we have left center and right. And like I said, improves the dialogue a lot more. Next would be a 5.1 system. This is what we would call a surround sound system now, because now we're gonna add in a rear left and a rear right speaker. And that's what creates a really immersive environment where we're listening to a movie or listening to a TV show. You're gonna start hearing stuff come from behind you. What makes a 5.1 system more difficult to set up is now we have to figure out how to get the audio signals all the way from the front of the room where the receiver or the TV is at all the way to the back of the room. So that's where it can get kind of complicated as to whether you're running wires over your attic into the back of the room or you're running them across the ground. So this is where using an expert's gonna be very beneficial for you. Uh, but there's also a lot of DIY methods that you can do to get the audio from the front all the way to the back. These two rear speakers are actually gonna be at about a 45 degree angle from where you're sitting. So you don't want them directly behind you, but you want them off to the side just a little bit. Next is a 7.1 system, and this is gonna be way more common in an actual home theater setup. So this adds a left side and a right side speaker to the sound configuration. Typically, these speakers are gonna be mounted inside a wall or sitting on a stand directly level with where you're sitting. You're probably not gonna have this type of configuration in a living room, just because then you're gonna have speakers sitting out in the middle of the room and it's gonna look kind of weird. Uh, so typically for like a living room, you'd have a 5.1, but for home theater is really when you want to go to a 7.1 system if you can. So with a seven channel audio system, there are various audio formats that come along with that and work with it. Dolby has two different audio formats for seven channel. The first one is Dolby Digital Plus, and that is a compressed format. Then we have Dolby True HD, and that's an uncompressed format. Now DTS also has their own two formats for this. The first one being DTS HD, which is a compressed format. The second one being DTS Master HD, and that's an uncompressed format. Next is gonna be a 9.1.2 system. So in this one, we're adding in height speakers, but we're also adding in two additional front channel speakers. Those are gonna be angled at about 45 degrees from where you're sitting. Now those height channel speakers, they can actually be installed in the ceiling, or they could be set up in the front firing upwards, bouncing the sound off the ceiling to your ears. Now something to keep in mind with the height speakers and the upward firing speakers is that whatever content is being sent to it, it needs to support Dolby Atmos or DTSX. If it doesn't support those, it's not gonna be sending the correct information to those speakers to make it actually sound like it's coming from above you. So do keep that in mind. Make sure that it's Dolby Atmos or DTSX compatible. Height speakers are pretty difficult to install. If you're not very handy, then you could really jack some stuff up here. So I would suggest getting a professional to install this. Um, if you don't, you could risk cutting a few too many holes in your ceiling and uh, you probably don't want that. Now, if you're using a sound bar, the channels are gonna be a little different here because the sound bar typically has two to three channels built into it. So if you're interested in that, 
check out our soundbar channels explained video. We go over all the different soundbar channels, what they look like and how they work. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave it down in a comment down below. Also subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of different videos all about home theaters, audio systems, sound bars, TVs, all the above. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you click subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.